This is a video about our recent visit to the Lowell Observatory. The Lowell Observatory is located in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's on a hill above Flagstaff. Flagstaff is recognized as the first dark sky city in the country, which means that the city government does everything it can to make sure the sky stays dark at night, that lighting is limited so that you can see a lot of things up in the sky if you're in Flagstaff. This is what the road looks like as you're going into the observatory. Again, it's on a hill, uh, a beautiful spot uh, above Flagstaff. Much of your time at the observatory will be spent outside walking around to different buildings and exhibits and such. So it's ideal if you go to the observatory on a nice weather day. More about that in a little bit. This is the Welcome Center. The people there are very friendly, very nice. They greet you. They give you all the different options of things to look at. There's some uh, exhibits there set up in the Welcome Center that you can look at while you wait for a movie or wait to go out and, and see some of the telescopes and the equipment outside. There's a few things there for kids to do. Of course, there's a requisite little gift shop. One of the interesting things in the, in the visitor center is the Vierkamp meteorite. This is a 535-pound meteorite that was found near Meteor Crater in Arizona. Uh, it was held privately for many years before it was uh, recently given to the Lowell Observatory. You'll get to watch a film. Now, in my opinion, the film wasn't tremendously exciting. There were some video clips of astronauts in space and the space station, that sort of thing. But a lot of it was just talking heads, uh, like talking about things like what do astronauts eat in space and do they like it? You know, so it wasn't the most uh, exciting video ever, but it was something interesting to look at. And it kind of gets you in the mood for looking at other things at the observatory. One of the first things you'll probably visit is this building, which contains the Tombaugh Telescope. Tombaugh is the guy who discovered the planet Pluto. Of course, there's now debate over whether or not Pluto is really a planet, and, and you can get all the details about that if you go on the tour. But there's all kinds of fascinating historical items in here. There's a lot of scientific stuff I don't understand in books and telescopes. Then you can go on the Pluto Walk. The Pluto Walk was really unique. Well, no, not that kind of Pluto walk. It was this kind of Pluto walk where you can go past signs that, that give you an example of how big the universe or our little corner of the universe is. You know, it kind of demonstrates how far apart the different uh, planets are in our solar system. It's kind of cool. There's another building where you can look at a telescope. This is the first telescope that was uh, in place on this on this uh, hilltop. Then, and this was really cool, the Geovale Open Deck Observatory. This is a building that is, has a big patio. And, and what you don't see in this picture, but what you'll see in the next one is that the roof of the building slides backwards and allows the telescopes to be exposed so you can actually look at them and, and, and look at the stars through the telescopes. Now, on the day we were there, it had been raining, so they closed the roof, and so we didn't get to actually look through any of the telescopes, and that's why it's important to go on a nice weather day. Um, and there's all kinds of other little exhibits and signs and displays that you can see. Uh, it was really cool. Interesting quotes on signs around, you know, either we're alone in the universe or we're not. Both are equally terrifying. Um, perhaps if we're not alone, it's the most terrifying. But anyway, back to the exhibits, lots of stuff to look at. Kids will like it. There's room for them to run around and see different things. And, and there's smart science stuff for adults. And I'm not especially smart about science, but it was really interesting to look at these things and and realize how far we've come in our knowledge of the universe around us and how much more we have to learn and how scientists are working on it and, and really deserve our respect. Then you'll move on to the Putnam Collection Center. This is another building that has a lot of artifacts in it. Um, going back to the founding of the observatory um, and Percival Lowell's first telescope, you know, that's quite a cool thing there and another telescope and 
some of this stuff, I don't even understand how it works, but you know, it was interesting to look at. In the middle of the building there is, a, is the car. And the car uh, used to be used by people from the observatory many years ago. So anyway, this is the view outside as you're getting ready to go down the hill. There's a stunning view of Flagstaff down below you. It was really a good day. Now, again, it did rain in the middle of our visit. In fact, there was some hail, so there were, so there were a few things that we could not see. The weather is very unpredictable in mountain towns, as you probably know. Yeah, that was hail in July. So be ready for anything if you're in a mountain town. But here it is, Lowell Observatory, Flagstaff, Arizona. You'll really enjoy it if you go to visit.